Here we have the 2005 Ford Escape 3.0 liter six cylinder. And we are going to be doing the wheel cylinder. And we are also going to be doing the rear drum brakes. As you can see, I have it off right here. I had ran into some problems taking my wheel hub off. My parking brake was jammed on there. So it took a couple screwdrivers and some time and we're able to pry it off. But in doing so, as you can see, it left this pretty broken. So when you push the brakes in, the, this wheel, wheel cylinder will just spray out brake fluid all over the place. So what we're going to do is we're gonna replace that, which is right back here. There's these two bolts that come off right here. I went ahead and already took them off the wheel cylinder. So you just remove these two bolts and then also we have this line here. We gotta take this brake line off and then this should just pop out pretty easily. And then all we're gonna do is put that back on. We're gonna put, take the springs and all this stuff off. This stays on though, but this all comes off. Springs will all come off. We're gonna take a picture of everything to make sure that we know exactly how it goes back in. But I'll probably reference online because I feel like the last time this was put back in, it wasn't put in back in right. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and start removing everything and then we'll get going. So starting off here, as you can see, my wheel cylinder, rear wheel cylinder, or piston, whatever you want to call it, is definitely broken. And it came off right here on this end when we were removing the wheel hub when it was stuck on there. This got damaged because we had to take, as you can see in here, a screwdriver and pry this thing off because the parking brake was so jammed on it. So I have to go around and straighten these things out the best I can so I don't get any scratching or noises. But I went ahead and I got it to get this started. I'm gonna take these springs off. So I took this spring here off, which loosens this boot up now. I can go ahead and start removing this pin here on the other side. And this is just push this in and then this should just come right out. As you can see, there's, oop, sorry, my finger's in the way, but there's a lot of play on everything because how damaged everything got. As you can see, just fall apart now. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'll try to my best to explain as I go through on different parts of this so you can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. But we got our parking brake cable here. It runs over inside of here and it connects down to the bottom here. We're gonna go ahead and pull all this stuff apart, get this pin off so this boot can come loose. Uh, now we've got this part loose, so now we can just go ahead and start pulling all like this stuff out. And once I get this all apart, I'll do the step on how to put it back together. So with the shoes removed, what we're going to do now is kind of start removing these different components. We're going to take this off here. And then we're going to remove this one here as well. As well as this. All this is just pulls up. And it just slides off like this. It's hard to do with one hand. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. So again, you're going to remove this part. You're going to remove this part. And then this part should just push up and pull right out. And then once we're done with that, we'll pick back up because we're going to flip it over. And here is the pin and the retainer right here. Just get a little thing. We're going to pop this off so this can be removed and as well as this. So then once that's all comes apart, we'll use like this part right here and some different pieces for the new brake shoe that we're gonna be putting it onto. So let's go ahead and remove it. So with the brake part all disassembled here, so everything's off. I got all my pieces that I put aside here because I got a new spring set. We have our self-adjusting part right here. I went ahead and removed this end 
bolts all the way down inside that way we can go ahead and remove this spring and we'll go ahead we'll get this spring off and then once that's removed we'll go ahead and pull our new spring pack out and we'll start reassembling the new parking brake and I will try my best to get that as much on video as I can that way there's no confusions on how it's put together on my end so with this all pulled apart what we're going to do is we're going to clean up everything so for instance here here and here where any contact points with the pads come into play or not the pads i should say the braking boots we're just gonna clean them up a little bit and then we're gonna throw some grease on them and the same thing here we're gonna finish that up but we're gonna do this clean this up as you can see mine's a little bent don't know what happened there probably when we we're removing it but we're just gonna clean up all the parts clean up in here a little bit clean up these contact points grease them up we're even gonna put grease onto this and I just got some basic all-purpose grease so we'll do that uh, once we grease everything up we'll put it back together we'll put our new springs on so for instance the big spring comes onto here i'll set that out the camera up and we'll do a piece by piece play and putting it all together so you can see how i do it but let's go ahead get this parts cleaned up and then we'll get started on putting it together so first off we've got this adjustment piece here so we've got this this and i went ahead and greased up this end it's just some all-purpose grease so all we're gonna do is we'll take this piece first we'll take our new springs i'm gonna do this short side over this side so just like this and just pull it up for now Then we're gonna take our greased end and just do our best to get it in there without being cross-threaded. And then once that's in there, there we are. Just do it all the way down. And then once we get it all the way down, we can put just this side, but we're gonna go ahead, just do a little bit of grease, just a little bit. So when we put this end on, this goes down, but it's hard to get on there right now. So we're gonna finish up this video and I'll put the rest of this on. And that's how this piece goes together. All right, so here we are with our brake. We're going to have this piece we're going to put on. Now, as you can see, the way we're going to put it on is there's two different sides to this. As you can see, there's the side that fits the, the retainer, and then there's the multi added side. We're going to add it on real quick. So we start with this side, you'll, you'll see this lip here, and you'll see how these kind of go up here. It's going to flip just like that, because you want this, that one first side I show you to go down, and then we're going to take our retainer clip, and we're just going to clip it in. Alright, now we have our retainer clip on, and just go ahead and make sure we can move it freely, which we can. 
Now we're gonna flip it over like so, and we're gonna put together the parts on the other side. So now with this flipped over, you're going to take the long end of this spring and you're gonna make sure that this nub is pointing upwards and we're just gonna go ahead and put it onto this piece. Turn this up. And this should just be flipping like this on both sides. And that is that piece on like that. And now from there, let me go ahead and readjust this. So with this part put together, and we have this all put together here, as you can see, we're gonna take this piece, we're gonna slide it down inside here. I'm sorry, slide it up through here. And you're just gonna place it like so. Now you're gonna make sure that this retainers in there this nub is through here and it's all facing upwards and then from there we're gonna add on this spring here you're gonna do this side on the bottom here and you're just gonna get a pliers And we're gonna go ahead and attach it here. And that should be all put together. So with that shoe put together, you're always gonna make sure that these forks stay up. I just put this behind it. And I used a C-clamp to hold the shoe into position while I get things ready. Like down here, I went ahead and reattached the emergency brake line. Again, use the C-clamp so it stays into place. I have it set up mostly into place. I attached this here. There's nothing really than just putting it into the slot. And now we're gonna take our retainer. I'm not sorry, our retainer, our pin. We're gonna put it through the backside here, find our hole, and then we're gonna put it through right here for this side. And then we're just gonna lock it into place the same way we took it off. So, I got the parking brake put on, like I said, and then I took a clamp, attached it to here to hold this up so it's not so annoying, and my retainer clip, and my pin, I went ahead and put it through in the back, and then I just used my pliers to get it lined up, and then I just pushed it in as hard as I could and turned it. Was able to get it on. Next, what we're going to do, is now the other side and put this shoe on over here do it the same way where it connects into here just like this put the retainer clip on now for the other side we're gonna take our new spring here just connect it to the bottom on here like so And then when it puts on the other side, we'll attach the other brake here. And then this goes behind this backing plate right here. We always wanna make sure it's behind. So we'll put the other boot on, put it, attach it here. We'll C-clamp it down as well. That way when we put this backing plate on, oh, I'm sorry, when we put this retainer clip and the pin on, it doesn't fall down. And then from there, we'll just adjust it and it should be all good to go mostly. So with this clamp down here, what we're going to do now is, again, when you put this boot on, make sure that it sits behind this here, as well as the spring is, that's down here. So the spring and the boot should sit behind this bracket. And then you're gonna come up, make sure it attaches here, and then, this we can do in just a second. Once we get this retainer clip put on, we're gonna pull this spring here and then just pull this back into this. And that should be all seated. With that piece on there, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, stretch it over to this hole here, and that should be done. And all we're gonna do is make sure we have equal spacing between everything. 
from top to bottom on each boot. If not, it can be adjusted by hand. We're gonna give this a few spins and you're gonna make sure that these are locked into place. You're going to make sure that behind here, everything sits behind this bracket. This sits like this. This parking brake should sit behind its own little bracket up here so it's not rubbing. You're gonna make sure that these are seated into their proper placing. And then once you do everything like that, and you make sure you've double checked everything and it's all good, we're gonna go ahead and put the drum back on and consider this job done.